The first one is movement match cut. Here I'm using these two clips. And as you can see both clip movements are almost similar, so you can use any footage with the same movement. Now let's see the first clip and adjust the movement. As you can see here, turning the right leg. Now place the second clip on top of this clip. And the second clip also turns the right leg. So the first clip ending and the second clip starting movements are the same. Now I'm going to adjust the position of the second clip leg with the first clip. So move the time indicator to the first frame of the second clip. And select the second clip. Then move to the effect controls tab. And make the opacity 50%. So we can see the bottom clip as well. Then try to adjust the leg position as much as possible. Let's increase the scale size. Now select motion. And adjust the leg position. Then increase the opacity 100%. And it's perfect for me. Now just add the sound effects. So that's it for the movement match cut. And the second one is object match cut. Here I'm using these two clips. But you can use any clips with the same object. For my case, I'm going to adjust the eyes in these clips. So watch the first clip, when his eyes are fully opened. Then place the second clip on top of this first clip. Then move to the effect controls tab. And increase the scale size a little bit. Decrease the opacity to 50%. Then select motion. And adjust eyes position as much as possible. Then bringing back the opacity 100%. And it's perfect for me. Now I'm going to add a transition to the second clip. So move to the effects tab. And search for gradient wipe effect. You'll get it under the transition bin. Then apply it to the second clip. Going back to the Effect Controls tab. Now move the time indicator first frame of the second clip. Then move 20 frames to the right side. So hold on Shift key, and click the right arrow key 4 times. Now under the Gradient Wipe effect, make a keyframe on the transition completion. Then going back to the first frame, and change the transition completion 100%. Then make the transition softness 50%. Now the animation will be like that. Also if want to make the transition longer, then just drag the last keyframe to the right. Okay. Then add a nice sound effect. So the editing will be more effective. You can check out my ultimate SFX bundle from the description link. So that's it for the object or graphic match cut. And the last one is sound match cut. Here I'm using these two clips, the helicopter and the ceiling fan. So you can use any clips with similar sounds. Then just drag the second clip top of the first clip. And here I'm using the default cross dissolve effect. So the animation will be like that. Now I'm going to add the helicopter sound effects under the clips. So that's all for today, if you enjoy this tutorial, please give a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask on my Instagram. I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day.